Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Villa on Tour. Let's not talk about Wednesday nights. Yes, a rough night. Foden scoring a hat-trick. We were well beaten by Manchester City. A cracking goal by John Duran, but a very forgettable midweek away day. But I think Wednesday's team sheet showed that we've got one eye on today's game. Tielemans, Torres and Bailey were all rested, for example, on Wednesday. And I'm guessing that's with today's massive game against Brentford in mind. And get that cliche alarm ready. Every game between now and the end of the season is absolutely massive. We need to be winning games like this and doing a professional job over the poorer teams like Brentford if we are going to pip Tottenham to that fourth spot. However, Brentford aren't mugs. We all know about the Tony and Watkins debate ahead of the Euros in the summer. No doubt that'll add a little bit of spice ahead of today's game. But their recent run has been really, really poor and they're not safe just yet. So Villa, get the job done today. Just about to head into town. I'm quite excited actually because we're going to meet up with an American couple that we met while we were in the pre-season tour in America last year. Haven't seen them obviously since then they were so lovely so looking forward to that but just before we do get the train into town a massive shout out to luke1977 my code max20 works over there as ever for 20 percent off we just brought out a couple of really nice new ranges as well with chris wokes the cricketer there's some unbelievable gear over there so use my code max20 which gets you a massive 20 percent off that and any other full price items link in the description anyway enough waffle from me let's get the train into town Here we go, we'll have a few beers in Hockley, which is where me and Simon filmed our Q&A the other day. Go and check that out if you haven't already. Just saying, it's a mild day. That top yeah. is not the one for it. I haven't picked, you know, I haven't picked the right top. It's really like scratchy and all of it. Yeah. Like, hot. Not my favourite shirt. Anyway, how are we feeling today, mate? Coming off the back of Man City, we rested yeah. players in that one with this game in mind. Yeah. I think we'll win today. One, one of these games where we have to win, isn't it? Really, yeah. if we if we want to achieve our sort of aims. But the other night was a little bit disappointing, I suppose. But with the team we had out kind of expected but they've got to come back in today Torres, Bailey yeah. all to start Tielemann as well and massively John McGinn yeah. back after three games yeah. that's huge yeah McGinn back Watkins back in Martins back in Torres, Bailey etc go go full strength today yeah I'm, I'm confident prediction 3-1 Villa yeah. right then Milo score prediction what are you saying today mate uh, uh, I think 3-0 Villa 3-0 we're going to win today no problems yeah. good lad give us a big up the Villa up the Villa Team news, looking yep. pretty strong, mate. Big boys back in, no Tony for Brentford. Looks good. Yeah, it does. No Tony for them. Strange on the bench, though, so maybe he's got a knock or something. He there, must right? have a knock, but it's good to see Villa back in there with really the big is. boys back in there. Defence, really especially is. Torres. It's Luka looking gets good. Start as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing for it. Yeah, I can't wait. Confident now, confident. I'm joined with Matthew and Claire from the Cincinnati Lions. Guys, how long are you over here for? A few Villa games in the diary? We're here from last week until the end of the season. To watch every Villa game we can. How are you finding it then? In, in person rather than in the pub, I guess, in Cincinnati? Well, it took 15 years for me to finally get to Villa Park. I uh, saw them play twice at Wembley before, and last week we loved it, and we can't imagine not loving it the rest of the way. But shout out to my friends back at Ryan House <laughs> in Cincinnati who are watching on the tube. Unbelievable. Villa are so massive. What a massive club. Anyway, what's, what's your score predictions today? Got to win today, haven't we? 3 nothing. 3 0, Claire. 4 1. 4 1. Oh, Claire's confident. <laughs> nice one, guys. One last thing give us a big up the villa. Up, up the, the villa! villa. Team news gives me massive, massive confidence today. I was going to go with 3 1 with Tony to score, but with him being on the bench, let's be confident. 3 0 Villa get the job done today. Tottenham have got Forest tomorrow, so that's a winnable game for them. If we get in there early and get a massive three points, that'd be absolutely huge. Robin, what do you reckon today, son? I think there's been like eight or nine changes to the first 11, so I'm thinking all of them should be well rested. We'll go for a confident win. I think I'll go 3 0 as well. Oh, I love it. If John McGinn scores, I'll be absolutely loving it. It's so good to see him back. Big shout out to Matthew and Claire, by the way. We've just spent the last few hours with them in the Hockley Social Club, all the way from Cincinnati. Fair play. They were so, so lovely. And it just sort of outlines how big Villa are. Villa fans are everywhere. And when you speak to these international Villa fans in real life, they're so lovely. And it's just, you've got that common ground in Villa. It was so, so nice spending pre match with them today. Coyle, score prediction, mate. 2 1 Villa. We're going to win today. Yeah. Big up the Villa, son. 4 1 Villa. <laughs> He's doing our Emmys, man. He's better than those hands. We've got Super John again. We've got Megan. Super John again. Go 
Another half where Villa really haven't got out of first gear. Really, really easy. Brentford, one of the one of the worst teams I've probably seen come to Villa Park this season. Sloppy. I didn't really expect it. I think they've got decent players going forward. That Vista I'm a big fan of and Buemo, but they haven't really got going. They're extremely sloppy, Brentford. They just kind of sit back. Even after we went 1-0 up, they're just sitting back and absorbing the pressure, asking the questions of Villa. Can you come and break us down? And I think, like I said, it's one of them where Villa have just controlled it, kept the ball, spraying it from left to right and just really made it look simple. Haven't really tested the goalkeeper as much as I would have liked. Had loads and loads of corners, not really made the most of them, but it's been really simple. This is Villa's game. Now we've gone 1-0 up at half time. This will be pretty simple for Villa now, I predict. But like I said, though, once Brentford have gone 1-0 down, you'd, you'd expect them to open up a little bit more and there'd be more chances for Villa in the second half. I think shout out to the defence as well. Mopped up absolutely everything. Carlos has been brilliant. Torres has made it look easy. Been really, really good. Rogers has been good as well. Bailey and of course Watkins with the goal. It's been a comfortable half. Hopefully a couple more in the second half. This is Villa's game. Come on then, you Villa boys. Yes. I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him. And you know what? He deserved a goal as well. He's been so good last few days. Morgan Rogers. What a man. Smalling get back to everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. It's in that spell before half time in the hour mark. Back in the game. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just let him run forward. The left back. Completely switched what off. Jesus Christ. Two in two minutes. Two two on the hour. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, we're throwing it. <laughs> Absolutely throwing it. That is mental. Again, it comes from out wide. It comes from out wide. For half time, I said the defence has been so good. Where's it gone? Again, it's another ball in the box. Where are your centre halves? Where's Carlos? He was so good in the first half. Where's Torres? So fucking slow. Yes! 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 What a ball! Well done! On. What a ball! Ten minutes! Ten minutes! Come on! Wow! Oh, come on then now, Villa! It's a great ball, it's a great header! Everything's changed, all the subs are now changing and everything. Bailey's done really well there. Great header that! Yeah, 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 yeah. This game is mad! Villa! 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 Come on, he's coming. Two minutes added on uh, it. Can we do it? Oh, Konza! Oh! Oh, oh my God, Luca Dean with a bicycle kick. Dean had scored a bicycle kick, you could just call the season. Mate, there. from here it looked like it went in as well. Seven minutes. Seven. Minutes. Seven. 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 Wow, this game is nuts, mate. Absolutely nuts. Con Seriously disappointing that is if you look at the whole picture. 
Luis getting books right at the end as well. He's out for two games. Two nil up. Yeah, two nil up against a really poor Brent. Everything I said at half time, I stand by it. Brentford was shocking first half. No, you're right. They weren't much better second half. We gifted it. I can't even remember how the first one came about. But two balls out directly on. You just fizz them into a promised land. It's just balls in the box. We can't deal with. Drafts and whatever. Just stood there watching it. That's not good enough. Seriously disappointing. That is seriously disappointing. Well, that was one word to describe that. Criminal, absolutely criminal. How, <laughs> how have we done that? Like I remember being stood there in the halt and them just scoring the second. And I was stunned. And then they scored the third. Oh, just genuine disbelief. Three goals in nine minutes for Brentford. Three goals in nine minutes. And like I said at the end, every single thing I said at half time, I meant and I believed and it was right. Brentford were terrible. Brentford were terrible. They were the worst team to come to Villa Park, genuinely. That's not me having a pop because I'm salty. Genuinely, they were really, really poor. And they, they came out in the second half a little bit better, but I just think we gift wrapped it for them. Just at times we can be really, really stupid. And today was one of them times, like them goals in particular, if you look at each individual one, what the hell was going on with the defence? Konza looking really poor. Torres in the middle as well. Carlos had a really good first half where he made a really good couple of great challenges, last ditch challenges, and then just switches off. Every single goal came from the same side. It was a cross into the box, low in the air, whatever. Failed to deal with it. At times, Brentford were queuing up. We just basically crapped ourselves. We pooed ourselves and just threw it away. And it was, it was terrible. Positives today, positives. Morgan Rogers, great to see him get his first goal. To be fair, he loved that. Fair play to him. Ollie Watkins getting a brace. Me and Simon were saying, coming out the ground. Thank God we've got Ollie Watkins. <laughs> Thank God for that, honestly. I just think our problem is conceding goals. Like, you look at the sides around us, okay, Tottenham, I think it's like 44, Man United 44, Villa on 49. I think we've conceded more than double of Arsenal. We've conceded more than Everton, for example. Things like this can happen. I think it's in the context of the game. Look, you can concede one stupid goal, two stupid goals. But to not switch on and wake up and concede three in a nine-minute spell, like I said at the top of the list bit, criminal, <laughs> absolutely criminal. Thank God we got a point as well. Like we could have lost that game. We could have basically just shut down altogether when they scored the third and we could have just lost three two. Thank God we got a point. Uh, Tottenham have got Forest tomorrow at six o'clock. We had to win today. And it just puts that Arsenal game next week into, into picture and it's like, got to get something there as well. You've got to come up with something decent there. You can't lose at Arsenal again, Tottenham gaining ground. Look, I think it could it could swing between us and Tottenham before the end of the season. Like I said, Tottenham got a hard run. They got a couple of easy games at the end of the season. Just Villa needs to focus on themselves now. And today was really, really poor. Absolutely coasting and uh, threw it away. Let us know what you thought of that game. Get involved in the comments down below. Um, let me know your, what you're thinking about the wider picture as well, Champions League. You can't get Champions League playing like that, honestly. Please do leave a like on the video as well. That'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. European games coming up now. Leo on Thursday and then obviously the away game the week after. Sandwiched in between that is that Arsenal game. So next time I shall see you will be for the European game back at Villa Park on Thursday against Leo. Up the Villa. <laughs>